Peter, Graham and Ernest. Um, you're the three guys fitting 914 engines at the moment. And um, what I'm going to do now is just go through the 914 installation for you very quickly. Um, and uh, hopefully that'll help you get on your way with doing all the installation, all the parts into the firewall and the routing of the of, the, of everything for the for the 914 as far as the fuel hoses, uh, water hoses and oil hoses are concerned. So the first thing we've got to do, you've got to do in preparation for the engine before you install the engine is, is put this uh, the shroud on and this is this is uh, just for ducting the air into the engine so there is a there isn't this on, on the internet on YouTube already how to do that that's the first thing you got to do this guy over here is the antenna for the GPS there's another one on that side if you've got two GPS's this is the position of the um, the reservoir for the for the brakes and that gets goes through a grommet just down there on the firewall these are the two fuel hoses they go through grommets on the firewall over there as well Okay, this is the oil tank mounting you can see how that mounts over here uh, just two clamps onto the bracket then this guy over here is part of the twin uh, the twin uh, cabin heater it's a little a little box with the, the cable that runs up the back over there so this goes onto the onto the muffler over here the muffler itself actually gets fitted with a shroud that goes around it and uh, it's got it's got two outlets one goes to the one cabin heater box and the other one goes to the other cabin heater box this is the position that we put the the turbo servo in we put it in this position over here you can see it's just below the R deck just above that we fit the relay for the starter underneath the battery box over there you can see the um, the fuel pressure sender unit this is the uh, pressure sender it must face down like that the other thing that I need to point out is that the rectifier regulator which you see over there must the, the, the plug must face downwards this one's the plug is up but the plug must actually face downwards so that if there is any moisture that does come into the engine compartment it doesn't sit inside the rectifier regulator that's the position of the TCU, right there. The routing of the choke cable and the throttle cable. You can see positions of everything that goes on here. 